United they have beaten Brighton for the second time in a few days. This time 3-0 instead of 3-2. McTominay, Mata, and was it Paul Pogba got the third? I don't really know. I don't really care. United they're through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. But it is so crap watching United's second string team. 10 out of 11 players changed from the game against Brighton at the weekend. I think Lindelof the only player to start. Let's focus on the positives, I suppose. Bye. 90 minutes. Come on, man. Stay fit this season, please. We need to see Bai alongside Maguire or maybe Lindelof. But probably Bai Maguire is going to be United. Because if United get a set centre-back pairing, it will transform our defence, which is very, very shaky at the moment. Van der Beek, that was a beautiful touch for United's second goal through to Mata. And you can see that he plays on a different wavelength to that second string. He came from Ajax to play alongside Martial and Greenwood and, and Rashford and Bruno and Pogba. And he's, he's looking up and seeing Igalo giving a wave. He's looking at Dan James running into nowhere and Dalot just spooning his clearances. Van der Beek deserves to start in that starting first 11. And Solskjaer has to find a way to get him into that team. Juan Mata is like the grandfather of this second string team. Two great performances in the two League Cup games. A goal and an assist tonight. Again, he's on a different level to the sort of second string team. But that second string team is so crap. It really is. Igalo, I'm sorry, man. But the, you peaked away at last, last season with that goal that you scored in front of nobody, which is a bit sad. You know, he clearly loves United and you want that in your United players that play for the team. But Igalo's not good enough to be a United player. He'll probably be gone in January. There's no way we're going to extend it past January. We already need a striker. So what happens when Igalo leaves in January? Dan James, ah oh man, he had a fantastic start to his United career, but he has fallen off the cliff and that's really putting it politely. And I don't really know whether he's going to recover or not, but just that whole second string team, it just, imagine right, so the idea of a second string team is you can rotate your players in and out. When Liverpool rotate players in and out, or Chelsea, or Arsenal, or City, it still looks like you're watching those teams. When you switch United starting 11 out for a second 11, it's like watching a League 2 side. The drop-off in quality is ridiculous. And United need to sign some goddamn players in the next few days. And that's not me sounding entitled after a 3-0 win against Brighton. That's me looking at what's coming up this season because the ambitions are there from fans. We finished third last season. We want to, therefore, break into the top two this year. And we were already a far behind City and Liverpool. So what happens this season when we're back in the Champions League, say we play Liverpool on a Sunday and then we've got Bayern Munich a few days later on a Wednesday night in a round of 16 Champions League and we've got to play that team because we're rotating. We would get pumped beyond belief. That's why we need new signings so we can elevate the quality of our starting eleven, and therefore Solskjaer can afford to rotate some of the starting eleven out so we can have two decent teams playing when we're actually rotating. Rather than at the moment, we're switching 10 of 11 players and we're playing like garbage for the majority of the game. Lo and behold, when you bring Pogba and Rashford on, the game changes and United all of a sudden have a real attacking threat. Pogba in that number 10 role, you know, it's clearly obvious that Pogba prefers playing further forward than he does in a midfield two where he's more disciplined. It's just not the natural part of his game. It's not what he's naturally good at. And you want to see more of that from Paul Pogba. He looks so happy there, flowing forwards, rather than marshalling a midfield, as I said on Twitter. But you've got to be happy at the 3-0. But the reality is that that game got in the way of United's actual focus at the moment, which is the transfer window. Is it going to be Jadon Sancho? I'm piss bored of that saga. United really are making themselves look like fools. And I actually think now, at this point, I'm not sure even Dortmund would accept 120 million because... I'm just not sure. And therefore, is it Usman Dembele, who Fabrizio Romano said we're in talks with, with his agent tonight? I'll cover that and all the latest transfer news as well over the next couple of days. Are oh, we going to get Alex Tellez at left back? I mean, no, we're not, not going to get a centre back. It's basically we're hoping for Alex Tellez to come through and we're hoping for United to pull the finger out of their ass and get a right winger. But it's going to be a shambles in how it's happened. You know, United don't need to be this club that just panic buys at the end of the, the window. And lo and behold, we're panic buying. You not remember what happened with Odi Nogalo, deadline day, panic buy. He scored a few goals, but United just don't really seem to learn. And 
you've got to be happy with a 3-0 win. After the Palace game, we needed to bounce back and we somehow did it against Brighton in the league in a 3-2 win, which we didn't really deserve, let's be honest. Tonight was a comfortable 3-0 win. Dean Henderson, by the way, that save. Two games he's played, two starts, two games where he's really not had that much to do. Two fantastic saves in both of those games. He is our future number one. And De Gea, he'll certainly be looking on and being worried about that sort of form because when a goalkeeper doesn't have much to do but can pull out saves like that, that's when he knows a top-class goalkeeper. But the main message after this doesn't have to be about, oh, United are through to the League Cup next round, great, you know, 1-3-0, clean sheet, brilliant, look at Bay. There's positives to take from the game. Bay, you've got Van der Beek, you've got Popper going forward, a great goal from McTominay as well. United scoring from a set piece, that is a positive. But the focus still has to be on United signing players because the ambitions right now will not be met with this squad. The squad is not good enough past that starting eleven to do anything in more than one competition. And in the main competition, it's not enough to catch City and Liverpool. So there's so much that needs to happen in the next few days. And United have left it late because we are crap at negotiating for transfers. And I don't care what happens in the next few days. It doesn't take away from the fact that we are still panic buying and running around like it's supermarket sweep at the end of the transfer window. Let me know what you think about the match. Who was your man of the match? 3-0, you've got to be happy with that. My man of the match, I'm giving it to Mata. I think Mata played very, very well today, and hopefully he can continue being this grandfather of the second string team and lead us to the League Cup final, maybe win it this time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And United, man, just sign some players, please.